This is Bill Newman, WHMP. Welcome to NPR, Northampton Poetry Radio. Northampton Poetry Radio. Can we do it that way? Poetry, poetry, poetry. Radio with erstwhile Poet Laureate Rich (laughs) Michelson. Erstwhile Poet Laureate Rich Michelson, the microphone is yours. Thank you. Well, I want to get everybody uh, out of their seats this evening and over to Forbes Library where there is a reading of the Massachusetts Cultural Council Fellowship winners uh, this evening, Forbes Library, 7 p.m. We will get you home in time for the debate. No, 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 don't say that. Don't escape the debate. Please, keep us there forever. (laughs) Or you can just hang out with us and ignore, which is probably a better idea. So uh, every two years, the Massachusetts Cultural Council uh, awards fellowships. This year, there were 13 uh, fellows chosen. Um, it's, uh, it's good money. Poetry pays around here. But what's really exciting is that of the 13 winners, five of them are from our Pioneer Valley. And I think that really says something about where we are. Uh, South Hadley, Leeds, Ashfield, East Hampton, North Hampton. Uh, I'm going to tell you, uh, one of my, my guests today, D.M. Gordon, uh, Diana, uh, is living in Leeds. And uh, you are the publisher, your, your, uh, your books are Fourth World from Adastra Press and Nightly at the Institute of the Possible from Hedro Books, uh, which was a Massachusetts Book Award must-read selection. And you are also one of the editors for Hedro Books. You're reading tonight. Um, welcome. This is a great, by the way, segue because your name was mentioned earlier in this program today. When we were discussing 30 poems for November, and you're doing that as well. That's such a fabulous, fabulous thing to do. I just really, we could spend the whole time talking about that, but I know Tommy Twilight's just been in here talking about it. Yeah, he's had his time. Let's talk about the, uh, the, the <laughs> cultural awards. Now, now, you've won before. For, yes. Uh, this is not I your first Massachusetts cultural award. Not my award. first rodeo, or, as the waiter said to us when we were rowdy in the restaurant a few nights ago. Well, <laughs> uh, um, and you've won for both poetry and fiction? Yeah. A multi-talented. Um, now, uh, let's, because I, we have very little time here, I want to make sure, let's, let's start with a poem and okay. talk about that, okay? We're going we're gonna to do some political stuff here or what? Um, well, the name of the poem is called Election. So I probably don't need to say anything more than that. I um, read this last, a few weeks ago at the Straw Dogs, Writer's Night Out, and I said the title of the poem, and the whole audience went, oh, (laughs) everybody just groaned. (laughs) (laughs) It's understandable. So let me, um, okay, you ready? We're ready. Okay. Election. There's a panic in the fall, a sick feeling. Everyone, like parents, watching their naked baby crawl across an eight-lane interstate on an icy day. It doesn't matter if we pedal to work or hunt wolves from low-flying planes. It doesn't matter if we argued with our son when he joined the Air Force and keep his last letter in the Bible we disavowed, or if we think that God is on our side. The world spins and it belongs to someone else with a cell phone driving too fast. Meanwhile, late from your commute, you enter our curtained kitchen with cheddar and bread, the brandy to stew the peaches. As you put the bag on the counter, bears swim in the open sea for an ice shelf that has moved 800 miles away. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, D.M. Gordon, Diana will be reading tonight at the Forbes Library at 7 p.m. along with the other Massachusetts Cultural Council winners. Uh, That's Heather Kamins from South Hadley, Sarah Sousa from Ashfield, Elizabeth Whitty from East Hampton, Massachusetts, and yours truly um, from Northampton. And the five of us will be reading uh, tonight at the Forbes Forbes Library at 7 p.m. We really hope everybody comes out. This is a great thing for Western Massachusetts. We have uh, incredible poets here. You'll hear some political poetry. Uh, I will not be reading any political poetry. I'm saving that for my reading with Bill Newman in in two weeks, um, which is political poetry also at the Forbes. Uh, I also want to tell people that um, next Tuesday, uh, Gerald Stern will be reading at Smith College. Uh, in the evening. 
and uh, you should show up for that as well. This is an incredible area uh, for poetry. We were talking about that uh, before we came on. That uh, you know, how does that happen? You know, I think uh, it's in the water. I think you move here and drink the water, and you start writing poetry. And you write poetry mm-hmm. because you're surrounded by it, and um, your neighbors write poetry. Uh, I don't know. It's like keeping up with the Joneses. Like, oh, they're a National Book Award winner. I guess I should start writing. <laughs> That's something, right. Yeah, something. Yeah. But, you know, on, on my street, we have new people that moved in. Four new families have moved in, and there's a writer in every house. There's a writer. They, they come from different places. So I, I do want to say also about Jerry Stern, Gerald Stern, excuse me, that um, Forbes Library has a discussion group every Monday night at 7 o'clock where you can discuss poets of the area, and we'll be doing Jerry Stern um, the night before he reads, you walk in, you don't have to read poetry, you don't have to prepare. We'll hand you four or five poems by Gerald Stern and discuss it with an amazing group of people. So that's a 12-year discussion group that's ongoing. Well, Can I ask, I'd like to ask you both this question. Mm. Your Massachusetts Cultural Council winners, how do you, does that come about? Do they select you? Do you apply? You apply. And then... There are categories that are for poetry and for other. Well, kinds there's of- all the arts. So there's you know there's things like dance and craft and there's fiction and nonfiction and poetry and it goes they alter they give out awards every year but they alternate the categories, and so for poetry we had to put in ten poems I think and for fiction it's twenty to twenty five pages. And these are statewide, uh, con- essentially. Contests. It's, it's, well, yes, it's, it's statewide. A grant, it's a grant. It's considered a grant. The Artist Fellowship is considered a grant. And I, I've read for the Connecticut one. Have you been asked? That was interesting that when you get chosen for one state, sometimes the next state over will look at the award winners and ask them. So it's really interesting to be on the reading end of things, too. But. Yeah, it's, um, you know, it's a great organization, the Mass Cultural Council. Uh, we have to make sure they still remain funded. I yeah. know there was a problem. Uh, uh, Recently, where a bunch of funding was cut, they do a lot of amazing things. They support artists in, as you say, in all the arts, choreography, painting, uh, uh, literature, and um, music. And, and, and this is really a lifeblood for people, I think. Uh, you know, it's when you get uh, a fellowship from them, it makes you feel like you're, what you're doing is worthwhile. Uh, and I, I think it's really... Um, it, you know, I mean, we, we all kind of labor in our own little rooms oftentimes. And this is a great chance for us to come together as well as a community and see what everybody's doing. So uh, so I really encourage people, if you can make it out tonight, we'd appreciate it. Forbes Library at 7 p.m. Uh, it's We're going to have a great time. I think so. I know some of the other uh, readers, and I'm looking forward to being an audience member, actually, and hearing what they're going to give us. So should be a good reading. We leave it then there. And again, this is at Forbes Library this evening. What time, Rich? 7 o'clock. And uh, we'll, we'll let you out uh, so you can make your 9 o'clock um, aggravation. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you both. And congratulations to both of you. Thank you. This is Bill Newman, WHMP.